it's only 18 days until Christmas, so there's just enough time to get the uh, pre-dinner drinks menu planned. Wayne mm. is here with some uh, mm. ideas we are. for and us. We're, we're doing it a couple of weeks early with Christmas drinks because, of course, Amanda's wedding next week, we're doing her wedding cocktails. Mm. Wayne's coming up. Surprise. Yeah, the one in the cocktail. So keep surprised, so we'll try them on the show next week. Okay. Amanda will be drinking them, so I won't let the secret out. One of them's called Amanda Sparkles. Mm -hmm. So you know, one's Crawford, a Crawford Cooler. Crawford Cooler. Yeah. He's standing over there not feeling too cool because he's had two <laughs> nights Our first of drink stag. is called Santa Baby and it's going to be used in, these, both these drinks are using unusual ingredients, oh, as in we're using some cranberry jelly in one and we're also using Christmas mincemeat in the other. So mm -hmm. not the usual kind of ingredients you think of. This one, clementine, a good shot of vanilla vodka goes in, followed by a little dash of each of orange and apple liqueurs. A little splash so this is supposed of... to be before your big Christmas dinner, that's yeah, the idea. Yeah, little... and then a little splash of uh, apple juice mm. goes in, followed by a good couple of teaspoons of cranberry sauce or jelly, however you want to do it. So that's got a little bit of tartness and also sweetness. So good with the vanilla, good flavours of, of the apple, the orange, vanilla, the clementines, obviously. Give it a good shake to break down all... That and you reckon jelly. this will cross the generations? You know, there's you know, there's the grandmothers, there's the parents, there's the kids that are over eighteen. Yeah, we've got well, next week's drinks. We've got we got some nice drinks for the kids. We've got a bit of a fruit punch as well. Oh on. yeah. So this would be nice with the vanilla, the cranberry, as a little sweetness, the fresh clementine, and say so the apple and orange flavours. Pink. Pinky. What do you reckon? <laughs> you're looking like you're in a, a bit of a haze. So that's the Santa <laughs> baby, and fresh red currants have gone in there. Try now, for the second one, we've got some clementine juice. I'm going to have a good what do you think? measure. <laughs> it's actually really nice. <laughs> Don't taste the alcohol cognac. whatsoever. Dangerous stuff. A good. Oh, that's really good, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Double measure of port. See, I thought you wouldn't like that. Well, it'd be a bit oh, too no, that's really sweet. Nice. It's nice, eh? Well, the really cranberry really jelly, you just had yeah. a little bit of mm. tartness and a fresh clementine. Mm. Yeah. Double cream. It's not too sweet, is it? And in mm. goes our Christmas mincemeat. Now, mincemeat. Mincemeat? Has has drink? Not, not, it's, not, it's not the one with the beef. The original old Victorian one, but this one's got obviously got sultanas, you've got raisins. It's like the filling of the spices, uh, there's citrus peels, there's pie, also yeah. good flavours. So you've got a mince pie filling. Now you can use it in drinks because it's got sugar, it's got spice, it's got the sweetness. So it all come together really nicely. So this is called Christmas milk punch. And I think it's a good one to have after dinner. With the mince pies, which are there, if you're going in package. Really give this one a bigger shape to make sure you break down all that. Mince meat. They've got lovely flavours of sweetness. Is, that gonna, is it going to yeah. break down though? I mean, the raisins and yeah. the sultanas. Yeah. I guess All the flavour will come out of sweetness. It. You can, and also would have to double strain this one. You're going to get some colourful conversations around the table if you have start with that <laughs> one and end with that one, aren't you? Yeah, we can finish. I mean, it's nice to have a. Uh, you know, the first one is more of a kind of a paratif drink, really, kind of dry in its flavour, and in this one, obviously, more for the after dinner. Finish with a little zest of uh, orange oils over the top and a little sprinkle of nutmeg. Oh, I like nutmeg. Now you got Christmas milk punch. So you make cocktails at home? Delicious. Well, Not often, no. Oh. No. <laughs> uh. Sanguine to sweep that one. Nice. nice. Yeah. Nice That's drink. good for the end of a mm. you know, Christmas dinner. Mince pies. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> it tastes yeah. mince pies now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, ah, very really good. good. Really yeah. works. Wasn't convinced good. by the mincemeat, but. Mm. Very good. That's good. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you, Wayne. Pleasure. Right, as ever, for details of those cocktails, just search for something for the weekend via the BBC website, bbc.co.uk. Now, last night, you might have seen the chaos that reigned supreme when the family from Outnumbered went to the airport. Here's a clip from next week's episode. <laughs> 